Benny would have played ball all day, all night, rain, shine, tidal wave, whatever. Baseball was the only thing he cared about. But of all the things we ever did besides baseball, going to the pool was what he tolerated best. Even though none of us had ever seen a Playboy magazine, which we constantly lied about, we figured going to the pool was the next best thing to be in there. I remember you. Oh, sexy. Hey, girls. It wasn't really the pool honeys like we said. Because if any one of them had come up to any one of us, we could just peed our pants. We all went because, well, because Wendy Peppercorn was the lifeguard. Exactly what she's doing. I swim here every summer in my adult life. Every summer, there she is. Lotion. Oily. Oily. Lotion. And one day, it became too much Smiley. for Michael Squints Polidorus. I can't take this no more. Move! And he did the most desperate thing any of us had ever seen. What's wrong with her? What's she doing? Three summers of this, I think you finally slept. I don't know, but that's the deep end, and squids can't swim! While your lips are close to mine, forever. Oh, 
<laughs> did you plan that? Of course I did. Been planning it for years. You guys did plan that. He knew what he was doing. Michael Squints Polidorus walked a little taller that day, and we had to tip our hats to him. He was lucky she hadn't beat the crap out of him. We wouldn't have blamed her. What he'd done was sneaky, rotten, and low. And cool. Not another one among us would have ever in a million years, even for a million dollars, had the guts to put the move on the lifeguard. He did. He had kissed a woman, and he had kissed her long and good. We got banned from the pool forever that day, but every time we walked by after that, the lifeguard looked down from her tower, right over at Squint's, and smiled. <laughs>